Hey, what's up guys? We're out here in Comal County. We're gonna fill some feeders and then we're gonna talk about something that seems pretty controversial on the interwebs regarding hunting in South Texas. Well, I'm glad the camera was rolling for that. So I just dropped the whole bag in it? Yeah. No, I dropped the bag on the ground. You got to come hold this thing. All right, hold on. Because when I went to make the feeder. Oh, it slipped? It wanted to tip over. And it was either let the bag go or. Hold on, let me throw this one up there. Ride it down. dad so seems to be a controversial topic and we've gotten a couple video or uh, comments on our videos in the past about how we're baiting and how that's unethical how, what do you think about that so when you hunt in texas it's a totally different situation you to sit on a trail in this kind of country i don't know if you've seen some of the areas we just uh Put corn in our feeders at but this country is so thick up here in the hill country uh, we're in canyon lake which is um there's residentials all around us and the cedar is so thick that finding a deer in this stuff even on a trail is almost impossible uh, just being able to now if you were out in a big open field or had uh, a way to see him but you might pick a a trail that is getting used and it's just as simple as them walking a different direction you you might not see a deer all year long if you sat just on trails well the only way we get can get a deer to come in is to set a timer and feed and we feed with corn on feeders set on twice a day one in the morning one on the evenings and even with that it's not guaranteed that you're going to see a deer every time you go out uh, because so many people feed up here and there's so many feeders going that uh, they might pass your feeder up for a couple of days before they actually come to it so you still have to truly do hunting you actually have to get out there and put the time in your blind in order to hunt it's no different than people like in wisconsin that sit in blinds and just wait and wait and wait same thing you know we're sitting in a blind and we're waiting and waiting and waiting um, and we do have a lot more deer here than uh, a lot of places in, in texas but uh, are other parts of the country but that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to see what you want to shoot and uh, a lot of our nicer bucks get killed by the road because uh, they're chasing does and, and moving in the road and they get run over. We see a lot of big bucks killed on the road more than we actually shoot. How, so I agree with all everything you said. What do you think would happen if, for instance, on our little 40 acre plot in Junction or up here in Comal County, if we didn't have a feeder out and we just tried to 
pick a trail, what do you think would happen? Uh, how successful do you think we'd be throughout the season? In Junction, uh, being at that one, I don't know if everybody has seen that from the little blind we have set up in a tree, there's a, a lot more wide open area, but still the chances of actually seeing a deer are slim to none and not much less the deer that you're going to shoot. Uh, you might see a doe walk by, but to get a buck to follow her is almost unheard of. So I think our, our chances of uh, getting any kind of meat would be slim to none. Yeah, I agree. And you know, we're not saying that it's the, it's the best way to hunt or it's the only way to hunt. And you know, I like, I like watching hunting shows like Meat Eater where, you know, the, the guys walking, you know, 10 miles out into a national park, you know, a 50,000 acre national park and he's spotting scopes and all that. It's just not a reality in Texas. There is so little uh, public hunting land here that you're gonna be hunting on, um, on tiny little parcels that you have access to. It's all private land. And some of these places like King Ranch, which is like, you know, several tens and tens of thousands of acres, you know, they can do whatever they want on, on their land. But when you're talking about, a, a, you know, farmers hunting on their fields and, uh, and people like us hunting in the backwoods, you know, you're talking about 40 acre plots, you know, 100 acre plots. And those, your plot is surrounded by other 40 acre and 100 acre plots and those guys are all using corn and i've just never had a really a um a situation in texas where we weren't hunting over a feeder um that we had much luck and even when you go to the state parks here in texas like we did when i was a kid we used to go hunt we'd get dr on drawn hunts the those guys would tell us hey you know you need to uh put corn out you're allowed to put corn out we encourage you to do so because that's the best way to hunt especially when it comes to youth hunting uh youth hunting they want the, the youth to try to shoot a deer now, there it is yeah and another issue was that people in like kansas and that have these huge big open oats fields and corn fields and alfalfa fields it's it's easier for them people to just sit at the edge and then go see that deer and go stalk it and be able to get it here you might see a deer even at 50, 100 yards away, and you try to walk to try to get a closer shot or a better shot, you're never gonna, he's gonna hear you and see you way before then and he's gonna be out of there. Yeah, there's not a lot of open space to keep eyes on a deer. Once a deer goes into the thicket, he's, he's gone. I mean, in South Texas, you'd shoot a deer and his knees would, the skin on his knees would be totally bald because they're crawling around on their skin, on their like knees, what we would say are knees and elbows, um, to make it through some of this this thick brush. And you know, you get you go to a place that's really undeveloped, and anything that's not oak is just cedar, and it's it's completely a wall of trees that you can't really just stalk through. Um, so really, it really is you got to pick a spot, a, a spot to sit and hope you see a deer or you can pick pick a spot where you know they're around and put a feeder up and you'll have a lot better success with that and um you know we're not saying that it's the best way or the only way and if if i lived in montana i cer certainly would not be uh using a feeder or, or if i lived in kansas or any of these uh these big corn states or agriculture states or even out in West Texas where it's really open, you know, I would not use a feeder as much, but just here in the hill country, it's so thick, the the land is so tight, the, the parcels that are that people hunt on are so tight in and around um, residential areas that you just might not ever see a deer. Corn is not as even as appetizing as like rosebuds on, you know, the, the neighbor lady's garden. And so that's sort of why we, we bait if y'all want to take issue with that, that's fine. It's it's no insult to us because you're not in our shoes and you know, we've spent generations out here hunting this way and we're not trying to force it on anybody or say it's better than anybody else. And so that's just our position on it. What do you think, Dad? Last words? I totally agree. All right. Well, thanks
thanks for watching um, and make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and all that junk you know how YouTube is and I know it's been a while I'll address this here now it's been a while since I uploaded back in May it's just been a busy summer real hot not a whole lot going on as far as projects family projects or anything just sort of a lot of boring uh, normal stuff but here towards hunting season we're gonna start picking back up we're gonna be out at the ranch uh, nearly every weekend if not every weekend um, out somewhere doing something so look for my vid my upload schedule to get a little more uh, typical here coming up all right thanks for watching